Well, the flames and the winds have finally died down, but you can see behind me, this is what's left of about a handful of homes here in Alpine outside of San Diego. Homeowners we spoke with say they saw the flames running up the hillside and they got out. When flames raced up the hill behind Bren Denny's home in Alpine. My wife uh, called me panic stricken. Denny says sheriff's deputies told his family they had minutes to get out. He describes a chaotic scene. Around three o'clock today, winds were blowing. It was over a hundred degrees. As he says, firefighters tried to save the homes on a street, but were overpowered by flames. I don't know how our house didn't burn. Just up the street tonight, Jake Gare was finally allowed to return home. Amazing. The flames took everything in his front yard, but didn't touch his house. Uh, it's, it's insane. I, I think we were all shocked when we came up here. I've, I mean, it's crazy. Firefighters say the flames started near a mobile home park down the hill. Yeah, I was um, filling the pool. Smoke started. I started watering everything down, and um, it just it just came. It just came over everything. Escorted by a sheriff's deputy tonight, this homeowner went back to his burned out mobile home looking for his cat. You all see an orange cat? He's mine. The fire is under control, but not fully contained yet. Firefighters are trying to get a final number, but they believe dozens of mobile homes were damaged or destroyed, and a handful of homes up the hill are now gone. The ones up on this street above us that all went, they're, they're, it's old growth, you know, mature trees, stuff like that. And yeah, it makes you rethink planting. A lot of homeowners say the flames got way too close for comfort. They learned a valuable lesson. They say it's going to be a long, hot summer, and from here on out, they're going to work a lot harder on the defensible space behind their homes. In Alpine, Stacy Butler, KCAL 9 News.